Yo, what is good? Welcome to Cine 230 Remix Cultures. This is the online version. You are in an online class. I am the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp, hanging out on my tractor. Um, we are going to talk a little bit, um, you know, about the syllabus. Yeah, yeah. You know, just give you a little general tour, um, all that stuff. Um, you know, because I think it is important. So, uh, yeah, if you check out the syllabus um, on the Canvas, you can download it as well. Um, I just want to go over the important, you know, uh, bits and pieces, things I want you to know. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, at the top of the syllabus, you can see all these quotes by great American douches, uh, uh, Ben Franklin and Tom, Thomas Jefferson, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And then from my dude, uh, Paul Miller, DJ Spooky, um, you know, where they're talking a little bit about remixing and ideas, which, you know, uh, you know, Spooky says sampling is a new way of doing something that's been with us for a long time. The mix breaks free from old associations, new contexts form old the script gets flipped the languages evolve and learn to speak in new forms new thoughts the sound of thought becomes legible again at the edge of new meanings wow that is some incredibly philosophical and nerdy shit to say about making beats from other people's music but i'll take it dj spooky so here's the deal you know my name right say it loud uh uh, but my office hours are Monday 2 to 3 on Zoom. There's a Zoom link set up on the Canvas. Jump on. If you are on campus, uh, you can pop in and see me again from 2 to 3 o'clock. Um, uh, in Night Library 263 is my actual you know, office um, room. Uh, I'll give you my cell phone and my email. Listen, the cell phone is if you have an emergency um, you know, you need to text me or something, meaning you're taking a quiz and, you know, your can you know, canvas shits the bed or whatever it is. That's where you, you know, you can hit me up or something like that. Or if you have any like pressing questions, a text message would be cool. Uh, you could also send me a TikTok video too. Um, uh, but please email me. Um, and if in real like serious emergencies, y'all can call me, but y'all call people on cell phones. That's like... So 2007. Um, yeah, uh, check out my socials, um, DJ Food Stamp 33. Uh, I don't do much on the Twitter. I, I'm all over the IG, and I got the TikTok hooked up. I, I got that uh, in fall before L, uh, L, you know, L Overlord Trumpito was, was gonna ban it or whatever. Cause I was like, I gotta have this. Um, it's cool. But, you know, not a lot of uh, impressive lip-syncing, dancing videos from your boy over here. I also put a link to my SoundCloud. Um, you can check out some of my beats. Um, only just got a few things on there. Uh, I really need to, like, record and pump out some new content. But, you know, just so you, just so you can kind of get a, a vibe of the old geese over here. All right. So how to communicate with me? I kind of address this, right? Um, but basically, I, how I will communicate with you is via Canvas. I will be basically posting announcements. Now, how announcements should work is I make an announcement and it gets emailed to you. But the announcement lives on the Canvas and the announcements page. So you can always return to that. Instead of emailing me and be like, what did you, you send an email a few weeks ago with a link to this? It's on the damn announcements. So uh, every email is on the announcements, all right? So um, just be just know to that you can go into your um, account and adjust your notifications so you get announcements uh, or so you get an email notification or a notification on your phone that, you know, Andre just made an announcement. Listen, I know y'all are getting bombarded from emails. I don't think any students be reading emails right now, um, but uh, 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 try. OK, um, I'll, I'll be real minimal in my emailing um not to inundate y'all but you know always go to the announcements on the canvas okay um so that's how i'll be communicating with y'all if y'all gotta email me please just do me a, a big favor and put cine 230 um in the uh in the uh, subject line this is cine 230 followed by um 
whatever you you know your issue is um you know just because i have multiple classes and uh, i just want to make sure that um uh, that I know who the hell I'm talking to and about what and about what, what class, um, you know, et cetera. So definitely do that. Uh, I'll try to get back to your emails as soon as possible. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. And I'm also available by appointment, um, on zoom or whatever. Just call my damn phone. I, zoom gets so damn annoying cause you got to set up a meeting and do all that bullshit. So if it's just, you got to talk to me, just call me or FaceTime me or, or something like that. Okay. Um, specifically during my office hours, if you if you text me at like eleven o'clock at night, fuck out of here with that. You know, I I, pro I probably ain't responding to that. Um, but I'll respond to you when I get up at five in the morning. <laughs> um, all right. So you know when my office hours are. Um, again, you know whatever. Text me whatever. It's you know. But uh, email is going to be the best way to like get something to me. And if you text me, I may ask you to email me anyway. So I have a thing in my inbox all right this is real important if you did not know you're in an online class what does this mean this means that like yo the whole class is online there is not one bit of synchronous stuff you have to do all of the zoom meetings are just office hours and you don't have to go to them so this is an online class this is a choose your own adventure and the adventure is do i want to get a good grade or do i want to get a, gra a bad grade and that's going to be up to you to figure out your adventure and how you're going to get, you know, how you're going to get there. But I, I limit you on your adventure. Um, you have to do two modules per week. There's two units or modules per week that you have to complete. And these need to be done by Sunday nights at 11.59. And there's quiz and a little reflection paper uh, for each module um, that's all due Sunday. So, you, you know, you want to be about your business. Don't wait to do all this shit until Sunday at 9 o'clock because you, you'll be in struggle mode. Um, okay. Um, but, yeah, this is an online course. Everything is done online. Video lectures, everything. Now, here's the, here's the disclaimer, the important um, bit. I filmed those videos in spring of 2020. It's kind of nice because you get, like, the whole initial COVID chaos vibe anxiety vibe from me um you know uh which is good and bad um but really you know what i need you to kind of know is um there's a bunch of time-based stuff in those in those videos meaning oh the exam tomorrow or <clears throat> you know this or that or you know my 40th birthday or whatever it was you know uh ignore that shit just ignore it. It, it just it, it just ignore it the time based stuff the um the curricular base the the lectures the class based lecture stuff that shit's money that's the goods you know that stuff's good to go now the other thing about videos is um initially you know um they're longer they're 10 minutes 15 20 minutes long and there's a few of them uh, but, but, you know, after a few, you know, few modules, I was like, I got the memo and I started cutting them into, you know, seven, eight minute, 10, 12 minutes, you know, under, you know, shorter videos. So they get shorter. The other thing that happens is they get better too. Um, I start to incorporate clips, audio, video, uh, images, all that stuff. So they're a little bit more interactive um, uh, than the earlier videos. So if you're really struggling, dying early on, <laughs> It may get better for you or it may get worse. Um, anyway, so do note that about the videos. Technical requirements. Yo, y'all need some Wi-Fi's uh, in a computer. Okay? Now, I say that jokingly, but not. Um, I live one mile from uh, Eugene city limits. I live maybe three miles, four miles from campus. But my road and my house is my house is a quarter mile off the main road, and Comcast wanted twenty grand for them to uh, bring a cable to my house. Uh, no, right? So I got satellite internet. So last spring, you know, the reason why the videos are like they are is because I had no choice other than to, because I couldn't go anywhere with high speed Wi-Fi. I had to shoot videos here at the house, edit them. And then I had to get special permission to go onto campus to up to upload them, right? A three, uh, a seven-minute video 
takes about 30 seconds on cam campus to upload to YouTube. It took three and a half hours here. So, um, anyways, I understand, you know, technical, you know, the digital divide and technical issues. So, um, let me know if you have any um, issues with Wi-Fi access. I can't, you know, provide any magical cure for, for that, but I may be able to provide you with a bunch of the video uh, the video content if you can get to a high-speed connection and, and make a big dump download of like you know the whole terms lectures uh, I may be able to do that um, I give you the IT and support information for canvas yo I can't help you with canvas I mean I can try but like if you're having computer issues issues uploading assignments whatever you need to talk to IT support I, I literally can't help you I just don't it's not that I, I can't but I can't see your machine I'm, I'm just not like that person when well, you can try to ask me and i may say contact it so the it number and chats there